And now we're ready for cruiserweight action, and let's see who's on their way to the ring. Boy, I'll tell you what, not to uh, take anything off the cruiserweight action, but while they're on their way to the ring, got to make mention, you take that DQ rule out, Easy Money's got no way to hide, no real way to run. Looks like he's going to have to meet R.C. Haas one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. He can punch the referee, he can do whatever he wants. No disqualification. Right now, Matt Stryker's headed to the ring. Let's go to the introductions to Haas. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the HWA Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing first, the challenger, hailing from Cincinnati, Ohio, Matt Stryker! And his opponent. Well, Matt Stryker, in the ring, set to face a young man who's been very controversial. Shannon Moore, who, over the past several weeks, we have seen him adopt a a fairly aggressive personality. James sides a little bit. Starts standing up on his own as his own man. And of course, the story with Helena Heavenly, a horse of a different color. We'll get into that momentarily. Whoa, Whoa. and that striker, before the introduction, before the bell can be rung, is right on top of Shannon Moore. And I noticed that Helena Heavenly has changed her costume or outfit, no longer wearing the denim that identified her with the, the redneck, redneck messiah, Jamie Noble. Well, of course, Shannon Moore won Helena Heavenly as part of a, a pre-match stipulation. And now Helena trying to basically, I think, suck up, to be honest with you, Les. She wants to be with whoever's got the gold. <laughs> she is the classic gold digger. If you look up the word hussy in the dictionary, you see her picture. <laughs> she's like a heat-seeking missile, only she, she's a heat-seeking belt chaser. So. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Shannon Moore made a big miscalculation there. And Matt Stryker, the former HWA Cruiserweight Champion, Stryker has really been, been cheated and lied to out of, out of most sides over that belt issue, over the championship. And he wants Shannon Moore, he wants Jamie Noble, he wants whoever has the gold. And wait a minute, right now we're being joined by another great Cruiserweight who wants some of that uh, HWA Cruiserweight gold, and that's Chad Collier, Les. Yes, that's right, Chad. And, of course, uh, you've held this belt before, both these guys in the ring. And uh, the, the fight for this belt is, is just, man, it's just like about inches and fractions. There's a lot of great uh, talent right now in the Cruiserweight division. And I'll tell you what, last week I got, I got that title stolen away from him. Stryker hit me with that chair right when I had uh, Shannon in the Texas Cloverleaf. And, of course, you know, I know that you'd like to be out there tonight, and I know you're looking for another title shot. You and Stryker had that best two out of three matches, which uh, you came within inches of, of uh, defeating the guy, and he turned on you. A guy had been your tag team partner, and I know you've got a few uh, scores to settle with him. Exactly. Stryker got a cheap shot in the third fall, and he got the win, but you know what? It's not going to stop me from uh, my, my chase, my uh, run for the cruiserweight title. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, wait a minute, did you see that? Uh, Shannon Moore just inches away from it there, and Stryker is just really putting the, putting the pressure on now. And Chad, I've got to ask you this. How much of a difference does, does Helena Heavenly make down there at ringside as a distraction, as a nuisance, as an annoyance? You can't keep your mind on your game. Exactly. She's definitely an annoyance, and she's definitely a distraction. But i tell you what, she better keep her nose out of my match, uh, any of my matches I have with Stryker. Well, now, if, if I'm counting right, is it two more weeks less or even le less than that? before she's going to be uh, back with uh, Jamie Noble. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, time's running out. It's a it's little less than two weeks. And uh, you know what I'm seeing here, though, guys, is she sort of warmed up to Shannon Moore. Will she want to go? Again, he's still got the belt. Now, maybe as long as he hangs on to it, she'll want to hang around his neighborhood. Well, I don't but know. the question is, is Shannon Moore going to want her hanging around with her track record and uh, the loyalty she's displayed in the past? Wait a minute. Lateral press hooks the leg there. And, Chad, i got to know that. You know, Chad Collier is a guy who who doesn't like the flash and the glamour. He likes the the steak instead of the sizzle. He likes the substance. And Chad, you don't you don't need a woman at ringside with you. You don't need a fancy outfit. You go in there and you do what you do best, and that's wrestle. Exactly. I do my talking in the ring, and I'm going to prove it at the next time I get a shot at the Cruiserweight title. Whoever it is, whether it's Striker tonight or if, if uh, Shannon's able to retain the title. Well, as you know, as we both know, Jim. His mentor was Dean Malenko. Dean was never, never taught a lot of talking, but he sure taught a lot of ass kicking. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Stryker. Now the big clothesline has him down very close to the ropes. Shannon Moore reached that rope, but at the same time, Helena assisted him a little bit. I don't know which one came first. But Stryker is putting the pressure on Shannon Moore, who is who has really absorbed a lot of punishment in this thing. Absolutely. Real quickly, I want to mention to you this Wednesday night, February 6th, 
HWA at Oscars Nightclub, 700 West Pete Rose Way in Cincinnati, Wednesday the 13th. The HWA, as we told you, returns to Montgomery County Fairgrounds. That main event, no disqualification. Easy Money defends its title against former champion R.C. Haas. And also Saturday, February the 16th, HWA returns to Batavia, Ohio at the Red Barn. And of course, Chad, any one of these places, you would like to get that cruiserweight shot right at the title. Exactly. I believe at the Red Barn, I believe we got a three-way or a four-way match. You know, I got a shot there. Like I said, it doesn't matter who the champion is. They're going to get a match with a hell of a match out of me. Well, right now, Jim, uh, Chad, I think we're seeing a, a real back-and-forth battle. Neither guy has really gotten a strong offensive uh, hold yet. Well, Moore really doesn't have the room to open up here, and now Stryker is being cocky with him, and Moore trying to fight back. Just pie face Stryker. Moore swinging from the inside. There. Oh, now. Now a couple of forearms to the jaw, Stryker trying to toy with Shannon Moore, and Moore was not ready to be toyed with. No, and look at that oh. spinning heel kick, drops Matt Stryker, and this is a chance to see Shannon Moore really open up offensively. Let's see if he takes advantage. Stryker hot shots him, and wow, it looked like it, Shannon was building some offense there, Chad, but Stryker cut his legs right out from under. Exactly, like Shannon was coming back. Gonna retain the title, but looks like Stryker's, looks like Looks like he's the one that's, uh, looks like he might even regain the title right oh, here. Oh, wait a minute, what's Stryker trying to set up here? Stryker setting Shannon Moore on the top turnbuckle. Now he's slapping him in the face again. <laughs> looks like he's gonna hook up for a superplex, but no, Shannon Moore shoved his man off, and now Moore, both feet on the top rope. Stryker is dazed, Hurricane Rana, he nailed it. He's got him, lateral press, hook the leg, three, yes. he got it. He Shannon Moore did. pulls it out. Moore not coming up too quickly though, still stunned. Stryker playing games on that top rope and it cost him any chance of winning that belt. Moore, your winner, and look here, as I mentioned, Helena has warmed up to this guy. Stryker from behind, nails oh, now, Shannon wait a Moore. Minute. Now Stryker on Shannon Moore's back. And there he goes Chad Collier heading Chad for the, Collier. the ring. I don't know, well, wait a minute, I don't think he has the loyalty to either man, but he sure doesn't like to see unsportsmanlike conduct. Now Chad Collier. He just pulled Stryker off and nailed him. Kyle, you're running Stryker for the hills. Yes, absolutely. He, sa he saved Shannon Moore. Now, wait a minute, Moore's pushing him around. What we got, all three of these guys are so cranked up over this Cruiserweight title. Uh, I think we can have a three-way battle right here for it. But we're running out of time. Les Thatcher for Jim Cornette, everyone here at HWA. You join us again next week for more great wrestling action.